Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be going through my beauty empties for... This is probably, um, we're halfway through February, so all of January and February, and I have quite a few products, so I'm just gonna move very quickly. Um, I'm gonna start with the makeup products just because this is what I primarily focus on on this channel, but I do have a lot of skincare, and if you're interested, you can keep watching. But as far as makeup, I am so excited that I finally finished another foundation. This is my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation the water foundation and I'm in the shade tan sand I had this for quite some time but and I really enjoy it um, it was part of my like I wanted to finish it last year and I didn't finish I didn't quite finish by December but I finished it late January um, another product that I finished was my better than sex mascara uh, it's interesting, once you try panning or finishing products, how much you realize what you like and what you don't like about a product. So I realized that with this foundation, it was very wet in the beginning and I didn't like that very much. Um, I started liking it more when it started to dry out a little bit, uh, but I used it, it lasted about maybe three months. So I like the wand, I like the formula once it dries up a little bit, but in the beginning, I felt like it was getting everywhere because the formula was too wet. Um, another product that I don't think I finished it all the way, but it's just been in my collection for far too long. I've used it a lot. I just don't know how much more product it has in here. Um, it's the, <laughs> the name even came off, but I believe it's the L'Oreal, it's like a brow, brow defining gel. I don't remember what it's called. Um, it's a brow gel and it's in the shade medium to dark and I really like it I just I had it for too long and I used it pretty much every day and I just decided it's time to move on to something else and another product that I finished was my Lancome grandiose liner I really like it but towards the end it started skipping and the line felt like it was um, like smearing and it started looking a little gray instead of black. I don't even know how to describe it, but I do like this uh, lip liner, but I have replaced it with something that's a lot more affordable and it actually looks more black, which is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Um, this is actually what I'm using today and it's just so dark and I feel it does dry down to be like a matte black and I really like it a lot. So that's that. Another liquid eyeliner is the Ciate Fierce Flick and it was good while it lasted but I think it dried down, it dried up on me. Um, I think I'm gonna have to close my blinds. Maybe not. I hope not. But um, this one's done. It dried up on me. I didn't get to use it too much. This product, it was a 100 point perk or gift with purchase. This is the Hour, Hourglass Lip, hmm, what are they called? The Lip Stylos, and this is in the shade uh, Peacemaker. I really enjoy these. I would definitely purchase this in a full size. I used it up, like all the way down to the bottom. Um, this is a really nice formula. I, I like it a lot. And oh my goodness, this is an awesome find. The coconut, um, let's see. I think it's getting washed out by the light, but this is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer, Priming Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. I love this. I I just got it uh, on a whim. It was a 100 point perk and I just wanted to try it out just because I've been feeling like my dry, my skin has been very dry this winter and I couldn't stop using it. I was so shocked that I went through an entire sample and the full size is on my wish list at Sephora. But I've heard, um, I think, Nicole Renee Cutler in her channel, she mentioned that the Wet n Wild has a dupe for it and I think I want to try it and if it is I'll buy that I'll keep that one but I really enjoy this it made my skin um, feel very moisturized and it didn't 
peel my makeup it was just beautiful it made me look very luminous and had a healthy glow to my skin so i really enjoy this another product um and this is my last beauty product is the sephora beauty amplifier is a set and fresh spray um there really wasn't any like anything wonderful about it i finished it up but I'm curious to try other setting sprays. I think the next one I'm going to try is one from, I forget the name of the brand. It's a matte, um, like something for the pores. I forget the name of it. But I'm, I'm, I'm also using the Mario Badesco facial spray. So I won't be per repurchasing this for now. Okay, and that's all I have for beauty products or makeup products. And for skincare products I have quite a bit so the first few things are these were makeup removing wipes these old Henriksen ones these are nurture me cleansing cloths it says removes all traces of waterproof makeup with moringa and barrage seeds oil this was very nice um, it left my skin very smooth I did use them a lot to remove um, my face makeup and they were really good. I found them at what's this store? Marshalls, and they were only a dollar fifty each for ten cloths. So I went through those. I went through a Neutrogena facial cleansing makeup removers. Um, let's go through all the cleansers. I finished the ro ro rodial rodial. I don't know. Rodial stem cell cleansing cream. This came in one of my Ipsy bags, and at first I didn't really felt like it was cleaning my skin, but it's because it's really moisturizing. It felt more like a lotion, but I did like using it with my Clarisonic, so I used this all. It says it's a two in one cleanser and mask for dehydrated skin with stem cells, rosehip, and vitamin E. And I was really shocked that I looked it up at on Ulta's website and I think the full size of this was about $50. Pretty pricey, um, but I didn't feel like it really cleaned all of the makeup off of my skin, so I probably wouldn't purchase this in full size. Um, another cleanser or, yeah, an exfoliator was this Tarte Friction Stick. Um, felt very gritty. I wouldn't recommend it. I felt like it was sort of cutting Not cutting but <laughs> I'm so dramatic. I it, it was I felt it was too harsh for my skin, but I finished it I actually went through the whole thing Another product that I will not be purchasing in a full size was this Dermalogica pre-cleanse balm this is, I, I bought this in the mini and it came with the little um, applicator and you're supposed to rub it. So Ulta had in the mini size, like a travel size to try and I figured let me try this before I commit to a full size and I'm glad I did because this didn't clean as well. I know I've heard really good things about the pre-cleanse oil from Dermalogica but I thought that this might be better to travel with. It just doesn't clean the makeup off, especially if you're wearing a full face of makeup. I wouldn't recommend it. I still prefer my pharmacy um, cleanser. It's, what is it called? Pharmacy? forget the name. I, it was in my empties a few months back, but I prefer that one. And I'm currently using a Bobbi Brown cleansing oil that I, I prefer over this. And more um, skincare. This was a belief moist. This is the Aqua Bomb, and I've said it before. I love these. I've purchased a full size several times. I've purchased it for my niece as well. Um, this is a really good moisturizer. Um, this moisturizer. This one was Garnier um, Clearly Brighter um, Sunscreen. I was using these this one in the morning, but I it expired on me, and I still used it after it expired it's about like up to here right now but i didn't want to keep using it because i have other moisturizers and if it has an expiration date then i just didn't want to risk and break out and i it might have the expiration date because it has sunscreen in it so aside i did enjoy it while it was good uh 
it's a good moisturizer for the morning and it worked well under makeup too um, hair care I have a couple oh I have one more skincare I finished another um, Estee Lauder advanced night repair I really like this it helps to brighten the skin complexion and for me to feel moisturized um, feels really good this is the second or third one that I finish I think it's a it might be the third one this is the third one that I finished I have a travel size still of this one that I had purchased with the bronze goddess travel set from Ulta but I'm not gonna purchase a new one right now because I want to start using my drunk elephant products so I do recommend it if you want hydration and to brighten your complexion this is a good product I just want to try something else now and another skincare this was an, a face mask this is from so AE it is a collagen essence mask with green tea this is what it looks like and I think this also came in an ipsy bag um, it felt very tingly while it was on it did come with a lot of the serum in it but it says it's to achieve smooth healthy and supple skin when I took it off my skin did feel very um, just kind of refreshed but it wasn't as brightening as I have had with other products so I don't even know where they sell this I've never seen it anywhere but I enjoyed it and it was nice to mask okay for hair care I finished the Kristoff Robin cleansing purifying scrub with sea salt and then this is a shampoo uh, this came in a Sephora play box I think it was one of the last Sephora play box that I received and I like this shampoo a little goes a long way this actually lasted me about three three months and it does very good at cleansing um, the scalp especially it's it says it's to detox it, it's ideal as a detox or post coloring treatment and it was really good it felt I left my my hair feeling very clean um, two hair products that I will not be purchasing again are not your mother's clean freak refreshing dry shampoo this did nothing but make my hair feel very heavy and it actually weighted down a lot like I think my hair needs a little volume but this didn't do anything for it it says that it instantly absorbs excess oil leaves no residue and gives you fresh volume not true it's a lot of residue my head my scalp felt very like itchy and it just weighed my hair down so don't recommend this wouldn't purchase it again I think the only reason I got it was I ran out of dry shampoo and I just went to my nearest drugstore and I found this while I was checking out don't do it <laughs> the other one is also from not your mother's this is a way to grow uh, leave-in conditioner this was too heavy on for my hair hair like it just weighed it down and made it look greasy I don't like it at all and then I wasn't sure to include these but I have so many perfume samples that I'm trying to use up a different one every couple of weeks so the ones I tried these last two weeks were Daisy from Marc Jacobs I enjoyed the fresh scent of this one and then um, Dulce from Dolce Gabbana so I tried both of these I think I prefer Daisy by Marc Jacobs just felt very fresh and lastly went through a secret deodorant nothing special about that and a hand cream um, this one's from philosophy peppermint stick and <laughs> I cut it in half to try to get everything out of it uh, I really enjoyed the smell of it and how it made my hands feel so I wanted to get everything out of it and that is it that's all of my empties for January um, and mid-February so let me know if you guys are interested in me continuing to do these empties I normally do them what I do want to do is um, or what I plan to do is add up all of my skincare and makeup empties and at the end of the year I want to see how much I have used up my goal for this year is to spend less on 
new products and try to use up more of my collection sort of like a makeup rehab <laughs> I have a lot more than one person could ever use in a lifetime but I really want to enjoy and appreciate the products that I have and learn more about why I like certain things and I've noticed that with continued use I'm very surprised about how long a product actually does last for and what I do or do not enjoy about a specific formula for example that uh, better than sex mascara I love the wand uh, but I, I realized that I don't like very wet formulas I like so, somewhat of a drier formula and yeah so that's all I have for now I will see you all very soon bye